So earlier this year, I went to the Lego store in London's Leicester Square, where they had a special kind of photo booth, where it takes a photo of you and then prints out the instructions and gives you the bricks to make a black and white mosaic of your face. Now, when I went there, the booth was out of order and it actually cost £100 to use this service, which got me thinking, could I do the same thing for less money? Being a computer scientist, I wondered whether or not I could program something. My first attempt was to write a little script that firstly quantizes an image of the face. So that basically just means reduces the number of colors. So they could be the colors of actual Lego bricks, or they could be shades of gray or artistic colors or whatever. And then also resize the image so that each pixel is the size of a standard Lego one by one brick. So I wrote this piece of software, it showed me a design and wrote out a list of the parts that I needed. So I went to Bricklink, priced up the bricks that I needed and it came to about the same price as using the mosaic maker in the Lego store. So I was really kind of stumped at this point. So this week I decided to revisit this project when I found a free bit of software online called Pick to Brick. And as the name suggests, you can upload a picture and it gives you a Lego design. And I'm choosing this piece of software because there are several different options in it to customize how your design looks. Now this software is written in Java, so it works on Windows and Mac and Linux computers. I found that the jar file worked best on my Mac, so that's what I downloaded. And there are tutorials all over their website showing you how to use the different quantization methods and brick tiling methods. So once you've loaded the image in, the first thing to do is load this sort of default template. Not really sure what that does, doesn't seem to do anything. Then you have to choose the size of your mosaic. So I went for 48 by 48 bricks because that is a large Lego base plate size. You then have to select the region in the image that you want to include in your mosaic. And then you get the options for quantization. And as I said, there are several different options for quantization. I chose one called slicing because that allows you to choose the, uh, the colors that you have in your image. You can then also choose the tiling type. And I went for a sort of optimizing brick size tiling type, which means that you won't just get lots of one by one bricks, which is actually what you get from the Lego mosaic maker. You get lots of one by one tile bricks. When you finish playing around with the software and you've got a design that you like the look of, you can click generate output and it'll make an image, a list of the parts you need and the instructions. Although from my experience, really you just need the picture of the finished design to be able to recreate it. Now I decided to put the mosaic on a 48 by 48 Lego large base plate, which I got for about 12 pounds from Amazon. Now I wanted to use a real Lego base plate because I wanted the bricks to be secure on them. I didn't want it to fall off. And also some of those cheaper base plates can tend to bend and stuff. And I didn't want that. Now these base plates are 38 centimeters by 38 centimeters in size. So I also bought a box frame from, from Hobbycraft, which was 40 centimeters by 40 centimeters. That only cost about eight quid. Now a box frame is basically a frame where the glass is set forwards from the back of the frame. They call them memory boxes. You're meant to put things like souvenirs and shells and things in there, but perfect for a Lego project like this. So now onto the most important part, the bricks. So using the list of bricks that Pick to Brick generated, I went to Bricklink and priced up the bricks that I needed. And I found it was going to cost about 40 or 50 pounds, which is a lot cheaper than, than the uh, Lego Mosaic Maker. Um, and I could have gone that route, but I wanted to go even cheaper. So when I've been in certain shops, I've seen these boxes of a thousand bricks by other sort of cheaper Lego compatible manufacturers. So I bought three of those off Amazon for £10 each. Now I noticed in the reviews people had complained that the colours were too simple, fine for the effect that I was going for, also complaining that there were lots of one by one bricks in there. Also not a problem for me, great for filling in small little bits of detail in the design. I didn't think it through very clearly, I thought I would need 3,000 bricks because 48 times 48 is 2,304. Uh, but in actual fact, if you're using bigger bricks, say a four by two brick, then that's seven less one by one bricks. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but basically you don't need 3000 bricks. Now the bricks are by a company called Starmo and they're definitely not as good quality as the Lego ones, but they stuck to the base plate well. And so I was pretty happy with them. 
putting the mosaic together took about two hours and I basically just followed the instruction well I didn't follow the instructions I followed the sort of image that pick to brick had generated and I didn't follow it exactly either I just sort of put the bricks in that were to hand basically and they weren't all one by one bricks they were two by two four by two or whatever just filled it in it was quite good fun and I reckon probably more fun than the mosaic maker would have been to put together and it's quite good doing it you're quite excited to get to you know away from the background and to your face because you get to see your face emerge out of nowhere in bricks so here is the finished picture and I'm really really happy with it I think it looks really good Obviously close up, you can see that the bricks don't have Lego written on the studs because they're not real Lego bricks. And also close up, you can't really tell what's going on. But as you move further away from the picture, you get the like the image kind of just comes out of nowhere, um, which I think is amazing considering it's only made from uh, Lego bricks. And I'm really happy with it. And it only cost about $30, which is significantly cheaper than the £100, which I guess is like $150, that it would have cost if I'd gone to the Lego mosaic maker. And it was a bit more interesting to make because the bricks aren't just one by one bricks. And really you could use whatever colors you wanted on this. And you're not just limited to do your face. You could take a photo of your dog, your car, your house or whatever. The possibilities are endless. All you need is lots of cheap Lego bricks or fake Lego bricks, a Lego base plate and a frame um, and this pick to bricks software and really you know, there's a lot of entertainment to be had for not much money. So let me know down below if you have a go at this and if you've got any questions about this uh, process. Um, send me your photos if you make one because actually I'd really like to see uh, what you managed to create. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe if you like these sorts of videos and I shall see you next time for another video. Goodbye.